Hey Scorpios, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Mimi. I hope everyone is well. I know that I have been MIA for a minute, you guys. Had to get some things together, all right? But I hope everyone had a beautiful holiday. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, all right, you guys, so yes, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So if you have that placement anywhere in your chart, then there can possibly be a message for here, for you guys today. Um, keep in mind that this is a general read, so this may or may, may not resonate with you. I cannot talk for some reason. Um, there's no possible way that this is going to resonate with each and every one of you guys. So again, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Flip-flop the roles around. I may be saying he, it could be she, I could be saying them, it could be you. All right, you guys know your story better than anyone, all right? Um, all information you need for me is down below in the description box. And with further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your message. Okay, Scorpio. So, the overall message that you guys have from your spirit animal today is the chimpanzee. All right. And this message says use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem or get answers to your questions. So, Spirit is letting you guys know whatever situation that you guys are dealing with in your life at this time, or you will be, or this could already have happened, all right? Keep that in mind as well, you guys. This could be something that happened already that is getting ready to happen, or this can be in the near future, okay? But use your intuition, all right? Take the time to ask the question and just sit alone quietly and kind of just meditate and listen for the answers, all right? Um, use your intellect, you know, you, you're, you're searching for some answers, you know, for a problem that you, a situation, let me say that, that um, you're not really for sure about, but like I said, the Spirit is saying use your intellect and use your intuition. A lot of you guys are very intuitive. Um, so you guys get spiritual downloads, all right? Um, but, you know, you are going to get the answers that you need, okay? Um, so we have, all right, we have ecstasy, sexual healing, explore, and self-love. Um I feel like there is someone that you may not... Now, this can be the other person, too, all right? This can be how someone feels about you as well. Like I said, take it as it resonates. Someone here feels like they want to explore more with a person, all right? It's like you want to know this person's thoughts. You want to know how this person feels. I feel like someone here feels like someone's sexual energy is just really healing, all right? You can feel like you are on ecstasy, like just on top of the world, like there's no other feeling like there is nothing better when you connect with this person all right for some of you guys i feel as if you know now may be the time for you guys to just take some time and sit back and reflect because with self-love here it says as you love who you are you become more confident in your relationships and with yourself so someone here definitely needs to work on self-love um maybe there's someone here that feels like they need validation from other people around them or the person that they're connecting with in order for them to feel loved when in all reality baby 
you don't need nobody to love you if you love yourself what you you attract what you are so if you're a person that's just like you know what i'm fine with being myself i love myself i respect myself i'm good by myself you're going to attract in a certain energy that is going to match yours. You understand what I mean? But if you're struggling with loving yourself and you feel like you need validation from someone to kind of like prove to you that you're good enough and whatever the case may be, that's just not a good thing. All right. So somebody, regardless of who it is, you or your person needs to work on self-love. OK, because at the bottom of the deck here, we have annoyance and we have slow down. All right. So somebody here is very annoyed with someone right now, maybe because someone is not giving into a connection or giving into them like they want this person to. So they can be kind of annoyed. Like I do this, I do that. Like, I love you. Like, why don't you want to be with me? And then there's that self-love that needs to be worked on. All right. All right, so what we have going on, you guys, is we have the toil and labor with the family room and the change. Okay. I feel like somebody here refuses to see a situation for what it truly is. All right? Um, I feel like someone here is really just burying their self in work focused at work you know you guys somebody here could work in a factory um doesn't have to be or you could guys can work really close with someone maybe like on the line or whatever the case may be but there's a work situation you know a situation that is resolving around someone's work okay um <clears throat> like like really in order to not really think about a situation, whomever this is just buries their self in work, all right? This person refuses to see something clear. They refuse to take off this blindfold. They're at a crossroads. They don't see things clear. They don't know what's going on. They don't know where things are going to go. And it's giving somebody here anxiety. Somebody's really worried about a situation, all right? I feel like you guys, someone here, whoever this Queen of Swords energy is, may have... Okay, because the King of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles is clarifying the Queen of uh, Swords. So somebody could have cut you off, all right? Or you could have cut somebody else off because you felt like... You were giving, or either they felt like, whomever here felt like they were giving more to a connection. Even though this person was loyal, even though this person, you know, was very stable, all right? They just felt like, okay, somebody is, you know, whomever this is, it's like they were giving more into the connection than the other person was giving into the connection, all right? With this page of pentacles here, this is a younger energy, all right? Pages are kind of like younger energy. So you could have been younger than this person or this person could have been younger than you. But you felt like the more that you gave this person, like I felt like somebody here is was giving. I really feel like this is you. I feel like you were giving this person, like buying this person gifts, giving this person money, really showering them and trying to show this person that you care for them, that you love them. Like this is just your way you know, of what you do because this is how you feel for this person. And you thought that, that you could win this person over by doing that, all right? Take it, reverse it, whatever the case may be. But I just didn't, I don't see things working out like that. Like things didn't go as you planned for them to go. Now with the family room here, 
I feel like there was a conversation that was had, okay, or is getting ready to have, have happen, or this could be going on right now. You guys know how this goes. And I feel like with the, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the High Priestess, you may be secretly trying to figure out how to propose to this person. I feel like you want to take this a step further with this person because you're in love with this person and you feel like this is the person that you are supposed to be with for the rest of your life, okay? Or either they feel like this about you. You could, have, you, you could be reaching out to this person, communicating with this person, really fighting for this connection. With the judgment, the Ten of Pentacles, and the justice here, I feel like this is someone that you have, because we got two tens here, all right? So, ten ten, look that up, okay? But definitely wanting this person to give you a second chance. You want to build a legacy with this person. You want to combine families. You want to have a family with this person. You want this to be long-term. You know that this is deep down in your heart. You have a lot of love for this person. You want to balance out the skills. You want things to be fair. You want to fight for this. Like I said, for someone here, I feel like you're secretly getting ready to offer this person. Maybe this can be a proposal or something. Like, this is what you're thinking about, but you're keeping it to yourself. You, I feel like you really were invested into coming together with this person and building something with this person like really making things work but i see that there's some things that are changing all right scorpio so with the change card you definitely can be dealing with a fire sign possibly a leo we have the sun out here twice the and you feel like you can't get this person's and you can't find this person's energy anywhere else all right, this person may have moved on from you, all right, but I feel like you're very sexually attracted to this person, all right? I feel like you lust after this person, like you lust after their energy, or this is how they feel about you. But I feel like at the end of the day, with the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Wands going towards this sun... There's some sneaky kind of behavior that is going on. Or you may be coming off like that. Somebody here is coming off like they're being sneaky, you know, or whatever the case may be. But like I said, there's a lot of sexual energy here that is going towards this sun. Maybe somebody is getting um, some type of clarity or, or, or some type of enlightenment about, you know, somebody pursuing someone here like i said there's a lot of a lot of sexual energy the two of pentacles is clarified by the nine of cups and the hangman somebody going back and forth back and forth and back and forth in their emotions they don't know what to do because they're in love with someone so much here they feel like they just stuck they feel like they can't move on but this knight of swords is this knight uh, this knight of swords is rushing in. I feel like just rushing in, just in a hurry. That's why we have to slow down. Slow down. Okay? Because whatever's meant for you is going is for you. Okay. Um, but this knight of swords is rushing in, hoping maybe to get to change things, wanting things to change and to move forward. With the justice and the star card, someone here just wants a second chance. They want to start all over. They want to heal things. Because I feel like in the past, there could have been a situation where you could have got caught. Someone here got caught having sexual encounters with someone else. That could have came to light. 
I feel like that's what the, the issue is here. It's like someone doesn't trust the other person here. Even though, you know, you, you do what you do for this person. You love this person. You want to, you try to kill the situation. It seems as though that, you know, whatever happened with you guys in the past has became a serious issue for how things are going on now or you know th th i get a message something you got somebody here may be concerned about reaching out or sending a message you know to this privileged lady to this empress here all right um but it's kind of it's 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 like with the strength card, there's that Leo again. Strong Leo energy if you guys are dealing with the Leo. Doesn't have to be they can have it in your, their chart or whatever the case may be. But with the moon card, the Queen of Wands, again, um, there's that fire energy with the Ten of Swords and the Hermit. I think that you know that things are really over with between you and this person. Or they know that things are really over with. They know that things, you know, it, it, it has been too much. There have been too many painful things that have happened. And I feel like somebody here is realizing that um, there could have been a conversation or something is going to be coming to light. And it's going to be able to allow you to move on. Okay? So, um, that's the message that I have. I hope that this message resonated. I hope that this was able to help someone. Um, all the information you need from me is down below in the description box. I am open for personal readings. You can reach me at unapologeticallybeautiful01 at gmail.com. Until next time. Oh, you guys, if you're not subscribed, please do so. That way you put your energy into the cards. So next time you stop back by to be just like a personal reading, hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new content. And until next time, I love you guys. Take care. Bye.